today's video, a very easy and effective tool to help you take that mindful pause. It's called STOP, an acronym, S-T-O-P. So let's look at this acronym. The S stands for simply STOP. Notice what is occurring. Literally stop what you're doing, take a pause. Give yourself a moment to rest, pause, and collect yourself. What's going on with me physically, mentally, emotionally? Whenever we feel triggered, just stop. Try not to react for just one moment. Give yourself that moment to tune in. We call it the sacred pause too. And it will prevent you from saying or doing something that you may regret. So we begin with the S, stop. T, take a breath. <sighs> Connect to the breath, notice the breath. The breath is always with you. And it is a very quick way to bring yourself into the present moment. Take a conscious breath. Now that you've paused, take a deeper breath or a series of breaths. Again, really encouraging yourself to stop the reaction or the trigger and drop into more of a responsive, a more empowered state of being. Feel the expansion of your belly. The, the belly breathing, abdominal breathing, activates the parasympathetic. When we breathe in and out of our nose, we activate the vagus nerve. These are all things that help our body come out of fight flight and into a more relaxed state of being, a more empowered state of being. Notice the sensations as the breath flows in and the breath flows out and really building a relationship with your body, feeling it feet on the floor, get grounded. By focusing our minds on our breathing, we reinforce this pause, calming our bodies. And now we roll into the O. Observe, notice the physiological sensations. What's going on in my body? What am I feeling? The O stands for observe. What's rising? What is going on? My thoughts? my emotions, my bodily sensations. Is my jaw tight? Am I clenching my teeth? Is my stomach up tight? Our bodies are the best mind reader ever and they'll tell us what's going on. Tune in, what does my body feel like and where do I feel it? Where might these emotions be coming from? And is there a history here? Broaden your awareness. You're taking in the circumstances. You're noticing that you can be in a situation or an experience and not be ruled by it. Very, very big, big concept here. Explore yourself always with curiosity, self-compassion, kindness, and non-judgment. If the experience involves another person, try to put yourself in their shoes, remembering that everyone is acting to make themselves feel happy, safe, respected in some way. And for added support, when you're offering self-compassion, you can encourage yourself to let go of any stressful thoughts, release the tension, calm down and open to your choices of how you wanna pee, purposely proceed. Decide how you would, how could I respond? Or how do I want to respond? And what would that look like? Now you're not taking action yet. You're simply observing it. This would be this scenario. This would be this. What do I want to do now? So it's then you're really choosing, you're seeing, I call it getting out of the the weeds and up on the hilltop and you're seeing that broader perspective and you're purposefully proceeding. So S stands for stop, sacred pause. T, take that breath. O, observe what 
the body is feeling physically, what your emotional set point is, your mental state of being. Because remember, these three affect how you perceive the situation to be. So you want to really be tuned in. And by this way, our perceptions aren't facts. So we want to make sure we're taking it in and we are observing what's going on. And then P, purposely proceed. Decide how you want to show up, how you want to proceed. So I hope to stop this portable mindful exercise can support you in, in those difficult moments, whether it's a trigger, whether it's um, stress, whatever it may be, remember awareness lies in that power, that the power of being aware is very, very empowering and gives you that moment to collect yourself and wisefully make a choice. Till next time. All the best.